Kevin, Kevin White, ceramic artist in residence here at Monsalvat. Uh, I've been here now for, well, I think just over a year. It's like working in a small French provincial village, um, but, uh, but it's charming and, uh, and I really enjoy a peaceful environment um, and it is very, very peaceful here. Um, but, uh, you know, when my doors open, I can uh, quite often look around and see that there's two peacocks sitting by the door looking in. And of course, seasonally it changes so much as well, which is really lovely. Uh, I started getting my hands dirty there and then went on and did an undergraduate degree in fine art at Leeds Polytechnic. Um, and then I travelled to Japan and lived and uh, worked in Japan for five years. I uh, was a research student at uh, Kyoto City University of Fine Arts for a year. Um, and then I worked in the studio of a, uh, of a gentleman called Sato Satoshi. I worked in his studio for three and a half years with him. Then I left, I left Japan went back to the UK, did a master's degree at the Royal College of Art in London. I met and married my Australian wife in Japan and uh, that's how I found myself over this part of the world and uh, haven't looked back, yeah. I did my honours uh, thesis on the, the Japanese tea ceremony. It combines having a cup of tea with architecture, garden design, food preparation, socializing etc etc and of course japanese ceramics is so is so integrated within their society um, it changes seasonally um, yeah i mean if you if you if you've got an interest in ceramics then japan is is kind of a must you you kind of can't avoid it you're talking about a centuries a centuries long tradition um, and I, I suspect probably every village in japan would have uh, somebody making pots in it, if not many. <laughs> well, most of, uh, most of my work over the, the uh, recent years has involved working with, uh, with blue and white decoration. You can see some there that uh, on the shelf. Um, so the blue and white uh, forms usually a fairly large component of the imagery, but um, uh, but then after the work is glazed, I, um, I also work with what are called anglaise enamels, which provide a much brighter and richer palette of colour. You know, my toolkit is really very simple. You know, the, 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 the most important tools are my hands and my eyes. <laughs> but the brushes obviously are important, yeah. The long brush, well, that's, uh, that's very useful for doing very, very loose and uh, um, kind of free, expressive brushwork um, because it, you're mostly, you're, you're, you know, you're working from um, a movement from your shoulder rather than, than your wrist. Um, I don't use it very often, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful brush to use. Mm -hmm.